Okay, I've got five scenarios right here, and we're going to see what effect each one has on how hot your phone gets. So we're going to test the smartphone on its own, the phone with a skin added on top of it. We've then got a slim TPU case, the kind that would come inside your box. We've got a dual layered case, pretty popular on Amazon for drop protection. And then finally, we're going to test a 360 degree shell for maximum protection all around. All right, so in each scenario, what I've done is depleted the smartphone so it's empty and cooled it down, literally in a fridge, just so it's at slightly below room temperature. And then we're gonna plug the cable in, let the phone charge, and at the same time run a battery wasting application, which is pretty intensive. The idea is that in terms of thermals anyway, a test like this should light your phone up like a Christmas tree. Charging the battery, especially when it's empty, is gonna really heat that up. And then this battery wasting application we've got open right now is gonna push the phone in all sorts of ways. Just take note of the 44, 45 degree temperature that the phone has reached without anything covering it at all. And also on the application, we can see the battery temperature, which is 41. All right, time to skin the phone and see if it has any difference. Bear in mind that because phone displays are becoming more and more uninterrupted and are filling up pretty much the front of these phones, skins generally have now been reduced to the back of the device only. Okay, exactly the same test, just now with a skin on the back. And in each of these scenarios, I'm running the whole thing for 30 minutes. So it's not a complete charging cycle, but it gives you an idea because the temperature tends to plateau when charging. It doesn't exceed a certain point. Within pretty much five minutes, it's already hit 40 degrees, but then from there, it pretty much trickles upwards pretty slowly. Nonetheless, not a massive difference, but you might be able to tell that the temperature with the skin on is around about a degree higher in all situations. That's not a massive difference, but it is significant. Even the battery temperature here is 42 degrees as opposed to 41 before with no skin. Okay, so off comes the skin and on comes the TPU case, which of course now covers the sides too. But there is a difference in that whilst the skin was glued to the back of the phone, this case has a bit of an air gap and that could be enough to actually give it a lower temperature. It really does look like this case is doing almost nothing to the phone's temperature. Bear in mind that the room I'm filming this in is at about 25 degrees, which isn't quite 45 that it reaches in other countries, but for the sake of this relative comparison, it barely even touches 45 degrees internally. So it's actually been pretty much the same temperature as without a case at all. There's almost no effect. What I was more interested to see is if we swap that case for a much bulkier, thicker, two-layered one, would that have an effect? The answer ends up being a pretty resounding no. You'd expect that as an insulator, as a plastic, this thing would keep the heat trapped in and the temperature would rise much higher. But it seems that because at least some of these cases are designed with ventilation in mind, because they have internal patterns that perhaps stop your phone squeezing against the very back of the case, that actually ends up giving you a lower temperature than with the skin, which effectively suffocates the back of the phone. Okay, time to crack open the big one. And I'll give you this, this is an atypical usage case scenario. This is an extreme case, but nonetheless worth testing. And there's a core difference here in that this is not just a case, but an enclosure. This thing covers not just the back, not just the sides, but also the entire front of the phone. So the expectation again would be that heat becomes trapped inside. You can actually see though on the heat map that pretty much the exact opposite is happening. Instead of trapping the heat inside, the case is actually allowing the heat to spread. The heat is spreading across not just the whole phone, but the whole outer rim of the case. And so whilst there is more heat contained there, it's spread over a larger area. And so the temperature doesn't seem to increase. Even the internal battery temperature is sitting at 40 degrees. That's the coolest we've had all test. The enclosure feels pretty warm all the way around. It's a little bit hotter if you touch the screen because obviously this is closer to where the action is happening, but nonetheless, an interesting result and maybe not what all of us expected. If you enjoy this video, a sub would be massively appreciated. My name is Aaron, this is Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'll catch you in the next one.